Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a social security disability attorney. And today I'd like to define for you a term that you may hear uh, while you're applying or during the course of your uh, claim processing for disability, and that is the term residual functional capacity. And sometimes it's abbreviated RFC. And it's a really important concept in social security because it's really the basis by which uh, most of the time judges will make decisions in your case. And if you've read my materials um, and listened to other videos, you know that there are three ways to win a disability case. One is to meet a listing. The second is to fit within a grid rule. And the third is to prove that your functional capacity for work has been so reduced by your medical impairments or medication side effects, anything related to your medical impairments, that you would not be able to function even a simple at a function at a simple entry level kind of job. And technically what the judge is gonna do at a hearing is make a determination of your residual functional capacity. And what that means is, if you define it, residual means what's left over. So after the judge considers uh, is going to look at your functional capacity. Do you have the capacity to work at a sit-down job, a light job where you're uh, sitting six, maybe two or three hours a day and standing four or five hours a day, lifting 10 pounds frequently, 15 pounds occasionally. Perhaps you've done a medium type of job where you're lifting 50 pounds and that sort of thing. Whatever your capacity is, the judge will then reduce from it uh, limitations that arise from your medical problems. So let's say you're limited to light work, which is basically you know, most, a job that you're standing uh, six out of eight hours in a day, lifting 10 pounds frequently, 15 pounds occasionally. And then the judge says, let's, let's reduce that capacity a little bit by saying this individual needs to avoid overhead reaching with the right upper extremity. This individual needs to avoid uh, climbing ladders, ropes, and scaffolds. This individual needs, uh, because of uh, pain, uh, this individual, individual needs to uh, limit work to one or two step sequence type of jobs, so nothing with complex jobs instructions. So these are all reducing the light capacity and you're left with something called the residual capacity. And if that residual functional capacity is enough to allow you to return to some kind of work, you're not disabled, but if the judge concludes that your residual functional capacity would not allow for any kind of work, you win. So in our hypothetical here, if the judge said because of pain, our hypothetical person would not be able to maintain attention and concentration or appropriate pace of work for up to 30% of the workday, three days a week, three days a week, what would that mean to uh, his capacity to work. And if, in that case, vocational experts will always testify that if you're off task 30% of the time, three days a week, that would be inconsistent with competitive work. So your residual functional capacity falls below what is necessary for competitive work, and you are therefore disabled. If the vocational witness said, well, there are jobs here this person could do, a simple entry-level sit-down job like being a surveillance system monitor or a hand wrapper, a, a box packer or something like that, then you have the capacity, the residual functional capacity to do that work even if you could not do your past work as an executive secretary or as a machine operator uh, or plant foreman, whatever it may be, um, if you have the residual capacity to do something else, you're not disabled. So um, our goal in the hearing is to uh, help the judge, convince the judge that your residual functional capacity would not allow for even a simple entry-level sit-down type of job. Um, and sometimes it's called a below sedentary RFC. So that's what we're trying to do. And what the tools I use to do that would be a functional capacity evaluation form that might be issued by a treating doctor. Um, it could be simply the medical records. And of course, your testimony would be relevant to that as well. So big picture, we're trying to show the judge that your RFC, your residual functional capacity, um, is less than what it would take to do a simple entry-level sit-down type of job. But the whole concept of RFC, or residual functional capacity, that is a legal determination by the judge. So it's not the same thing as a functional capacity evaluation that your doctor may fill out. 
RFC is what the judge decides uh, based on looking at the, the, the law as well as the medical records, and it's a conclusion about your capacity uh, to perform certain types of work. So I hope you found this definition, this explanation helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and like it on Facebook, and we've got a very robust YouTube channel that I encourage you to subscribe to. If I can be of help to you, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help you in any way I can. Jonathan Ginsberg here, and look forward to hearing from you.